Last Saturday, we will linger in the memory of many people. The incident has left five people hospitalized in nursing wounds as a result of severe body burns. This is not the first time that the country is recording casualties as a result of a fire accident from a fuel tanker truck. Diamond Media visited the university teaching hospital and were informed that the victims' identities could not be revealed for the sake of their privacy for now. However, UTH Public Relations Manager Natalie Mashikolo has given an update on the status of the victims. I want to say that one is ill, but they're responding well to treatment. And um, they all, they've also been put on a, a diet, a, a special diet, because burns victims don't eat the same food as the other patients. And so we've involved our nutritionists. Apart from that, we just want to say thank you for the vice president for coming to see the patients. And it's, it's very important, and we feel quite honored. And I'm sure the people also were honored that she could take time off her busy schedule just to come and visit the patients. It should be everyone's prayer that the victims recover and be reunited with the rest of their families and friends. Many questions are being asked and others are saying if only. The incident, the incident also lays bare the danger of allocating fuel stations in the heart of densely populated communities has witnessed in some areas of the capital Lusaka. Tito Kalama, Diamond News.